Uh, guys, Mr. Grocott here with some more maths for you. We're going to start off straight away with our flashback four. Question one, complete the missing denominator. Four eighths is equal to something, one over something. Well, if we look at this number line here, we can see that four eighths is halfway between zero and one. So the equivalent fraction for that is four eighths is equal to one half. Number two. Tilly has 32 sweets. She eats three eighths of them. How many sweets does Tilly have? Well, first of all, let's do 32 divided by 8, which is 8, 16, 24, 32. That's 4. Times by 3 is 12. So she's eaten 12 sweets. So we need to do 32 take away 12, which equals 20. So the answer there is 20. Okay. The next one, what comes next? We've got 1 tenth, 3 tenths, 5 tenths, 7 tenths. Each time we're going up by 2. So 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. My next one is 9 tenths. And then the final question says, what is 3 times 9? Well, I could just do 3 times 10 and take away 3. So 3 times 10 is 30. Take away 3 is 27. Right, now let's start with today's learning. Today we're doing ordering fractions. So, key rule for this, when the numerators are the same, the smaller the denominator the greater the fraction, okay? So using that rule, do you think that a half is greater than or less than a third? Well, the two is smaller than the three, so that would mean that half is bigger than a third. Let's see if it's right. It is. Let's see if it's right for this one. Four ninths and four fifths. We've got the same numerator, and five is big... It, yeah. 5 is smaller than 9, so 4 fifths should be bigger. And it is. Let's look at the next page. We've got to put these fractions in order, starting with the smallest. Now these don't have the same denominator. But we can give them a common denominator. And what that means is we're going to change all these so they're the same. We're going to make them all 12. So to do that, we have to do 3 times 4 to make a 12. And then because I've times my numerator by 4, my because I've times my denominator by 4, I need to times my numerator by 4. Which means I need to do 2 times 4, which is 8. So we have 8 twelfths. 6 times 2 gives me 12. Which means I need to do 5 times 2, which gives me 10 twelfths. Four times three gives me twelve. Three times 3 is 9. So here we've got 9 twelfths. And then the last one I don't need to do anything to because that's already n twelfths. So, we've changed each of the denominators into 12 because that's their common multiple. And then whatever we did to the denominator, we did to the numerator. So now we can put them in order starting with the smallest. Well, 8 twelfths is the smallest, so the smallest fraction is 2 thirds. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, 2 thirds. There we go. 
Then we've got three quarters. Then we've got the five six. No. Oops, sorry, Mr. Grocott, you've done that wrong. Let's get rid of that. My smallest fraction is this one. It's 7 twelfths. So the first one is 7 twelfths. Then it's 8 twelfths, which is 2 thirds. Then it's 9 twelfths, which is 3 quarters. And then my biggest fraction is 5 six which turned into 10 twelfths. There we go, that's better. Okay. Now, on your sheet, you've got this question here, 6B. Write the fractions in order, starting with the greatest. This question confused me. It's a really, really silly question to put in. So I'm going to help you with it. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to compare them all to a half and see which is greater than a half and which are smaller than a half. These two fractions are bigger than a half. These two fractions are smaller than a half. Okay, so these fractions are obviously going to be bigger than those. Six ninths is bigger than three fifths. And three fifths is going to go there. Now I just need to do which is bigger, one seventh or two ninths. I could find a common multiple, which is 63. But I'm just going to tell you it's two ninths and one seventh. So that is your question answer to 6b. Okay. Could explain how we do it, but to be honest, the method is much too complicated for where we are, and it just wouldn't be fair on you lot to have to sort that out. So that is my gift to you. There is the answer to 6b. Now, here is the lesson we are on today. It's lesson four, ordering fractions. We send you this document. We send you that document. The link is on screen here. Silver today is questions one to four. Gold is five to seven and platinum is a separate sheet. Have a good day.